Hi folks, you're very welcome back to the channel. My name is Frank Carl, and today we're going to be discussing accessories. One of these you're not going to see on any other list and you're not going to believe it. So today we're discussing the GoPro Hero 10 best accessories. Let's get into it. What? Okay, so first on the list, we have a tripod mount. Um, this one that I have here is called the uh, Sametry uh, tripod mount. It's about 12 euros, I think, on Amazon. Uh, this has been a lifesaver for me because basically when I'm out and about, I can uh, put it onto any tripod, which allows me to do, you know, I need a filming in a fixed position. It allows me also to do some time lapses and stuff like that. So just attaches to the bottom. It's got a quarter inch tread on the bottom, thumb screw, and uh, comes in very, very handy. So as I said, works out about $12 or 12 euros on um, Amazon, so check that one out. So next up, we have a tripod. The one that I actually use is the little Gobi tripod, um, which is very, very handy for if you're doing vlogging and stuff like that, or just to have it in the bag, you can use this at any time. So because now we have our tripod mount, we can just attach this to the bottom and now what it allows me to do is place it in any position that I want, anywhere I want. And you can also attach this to, um, you know, around trees and stuff like that. But what I find also handy for this is if you're vlogging. So this one is the 1K one. So basically it's going to allow you to vlog whatever way you want. Like I said, this is the smaller, lighter version. This is the Joby 1K. Basically, it works out at about 35 euros on Amazon, um, but definitely it's in my bag every single time. So between the tripod mount and my little uh, Joby 1K, perfect for when you're out and about. Make sure you get these. Next up, we've got a little cage. It's basically this uh, Ulanzi cage that's here. So on the top here, it's got uh, two actual cold shoes that you can remove and put back on again. Um, and the good thing is on the front of this here is a 52 mil tread. The back door opens and the side door opens. So what you do is you place your GoPro in, close back up the back again. And actually, what, you for, what I forgot to do is uh, you have to actually, with these, you have to take the side door off like that, which is never easy as you know on GoPros. So with the side door off, it just slips into the back like this, push on the back door, push on the side door, and now your GoPro is mounted. Now the reason this is such a good case is on the bottom here, uh, you have the option right in here, put in the adapter for, uh, to do an external microphone, which would then in turn allow you to place it on the top here. But it's also got a pass-through door here on the side as well. The good thing as I say about this is on to the next must-have accessory, and that's ND filters. Now, you can get individual ND filters just to go over the GoPro itself. I don't have these right now, but what I did have is I did have a lot of 52 mil uh, ND filters myself. So this cage became very handy. So it brings us on to the next one, and that's ND filters. So because I've got the Ulanzi cage on, I've got a lot of these uh, 52 mil ND filters which allows me basically ND filter on the front. This now allows you to slow, slow down your shutter speed. Um, you know, give you some of those cinematic looks. So because I had the 52 mils in my bag, this was very, very handy. So the Ulanzi cage works out at about 21.50 on Amazon. And like I said, I had a lot of these 52 mil um, ND filters that were floating around as well. But you can get some online, you know, the, the, the 52 mils are a bit cheaper than what the larger ones are, but very, very handy to have. And like I say, um, it's already got uh, the, you can add the tripod mount to the bottom here. This, the Ulanzi little cage comes in very, very handy. Okay, so this next accessory is in my bag all the time. I find it one of the most useful, and that's the GoPro pass-through door. Uh, it's about 20 euros um, on GoPro's main site. That's the pass-through door itself. So basically what you do is you remove the side door. And just on a side note, I find one of the best ways to remove the side door is instead of trying to flick it down, 
So pull it down and then out. And at the top, you just slide it off, pass through door goes on and slide that on. So what that basically allows you to do is to use um, a microphone, the microphone adapter in there, or an external battery. So like I say, very, very handy. It's always in my bag. And basically that brings us on to the next most important accessory. And I told you, you're not gonna see this on any other list on the website. And this for me is the most important GoPro Hero 10, or any GoPro for that matter. The most important accessory. And that is a bum bag. That's right, I think in America you call them fanny packs. Uh, a bum bag. I mean, you know, I don't understand why people with GoPros, uh, the, this should be on the list all the time. So basically how I like to use this is a lot of the accessories will just fit inside the GoPro bag. You know, it can be attached around your waist because that's what they do. You have your accessories in there. So anything that you actually need, you know, you can take that out. So another reason that I love having a GoPro bag on me and these next few accessories will roll in together. So basically if you have a tripod and a lot of the time when I am out filming uh, a lot of my time lapses and stuff like that. So I film, I film my time lapses on the GoPro in RAW. So I film them in photographs. So what this allows me to do is to attach the bum bag directly onto the tripod. So basically what I'll end up doing is taking my bum bag, just wrap it around the bottom or wrap it around the top here. That allows me to attach it. So now I've got my accessories and I've got everything else that I actually need in this bum bag here. So that bum bag works out there. You can get them cheap. You get them for about, I don't know, less than 10 euros, you know? I think I got this one for seven euros on Amazon myself. So that leads me up to the next accessory. And the next accessory is an external power bank. So this is the external power bank that I use. It's a 20K uh, external power bank and you know, I've, I've always had more than enough time with this. I've, I've yet to even, I think, come below 50% when I've been using this all day and even into the night. You take your GoPro, you attach it to your tripod, you take your lead to your external hard drive, and then basically I put the external hard drive into the bum bag, zip it up. Now that's hanging off of there. And because I've got my other accessory, the pass-through door, basically goes into the back in here and you got a perfect setup. It goes all night long. You're running off it, like I say, it's a 20K external power bank. And if I was shooting a time-lapse at night, I can guarantee it's probably not even going to become, come below like uh, 50%. That'll run all night long and you're never going to run out of battery. Like I said, get yourself a bum bag and you have the external power bank. You got your pass-through door and you're never gonna run out of power with your GoPro Hero 10. An external power bank is gonna run you probably anywhere from 30 euros up to 45, 50 euros. It depends what you get. Um, some of the smaller ones, you know, I mean, they're fine like, but you want something that's gonna be decent and run for a while. So this is one I just got in uh, my local store, uh, electronic store, Harvey Normans. Uh, this was 45 euros. And like I said, it's a 20K. And I haven't, I'm actually going to go get another one because I haven't had an ounce of problems with it. Yeah, and it'll run all night long. Get yourself your bum bag, your external, your pass-through door. Boom, you're good to go. Okay, so next up, some people love these and some people hate these. This is the chesty or the chest strap. Um, I think I picked this up for about 12 euros on Amazon. So basically, it'll attach to the front here. And I tell you, one of the reasons why I really like this is because I go out and I do photography as well. I find that even at night, it, it, like, it looks intimidating like this when you've got this on. Some people call it the bra, whatever it is. But we say if I've got my jacket on as well. So I take my jacket and put that on, especially in the weather we have at the moment. I mean, it's a lovely day today. It's uh, certainly not as cold i've been lucky but if it's out in the evening or walking through you know uh, built up areas and stuff like that so i can close my jacket up here in the front and to be fair it's not as intimidating when you're walking around so you got a pov shot and um, that's how i like to use it it's uh, you know front facing shot all the time now i can have my camera in front of me taking photographs stuff like that and they've got a POV with the GoPro Hero 10. So like I said, it was about 12 euros, I think, on Amazon. 
So definitely worth getting one of these. You can also get the hard clips, the really tough clips that I clip onto a bag or anything like that. But if I don't have a bag and stuff with me, you know, yeah, you can clip it to the front here, which would be in a similar position. But with the chest strap, that's solid out. It's not gonna, it's not gonna flop around. It's more solid than wearing a clip where the clip might kind of flop from left to right. So this is bang right on the front and it doesn't look as intimidating. That's gonna look the same as if a clip was on it. But like I said, it's a lot more solid. Next up, we have a suction cup. I like to use this one. Again, this was only about 12 euros, I think on Amazon. Um, so again, with my tripod mount in the bottom, it allows me to attach it here. And instead of it just being one suction cup, the thing I like about this is because we got the three prongs on it. So, you know, if I was attaching it to, we say, you know, the windscreen here like this, I could swing off of that and I would be glad. And that, I promise you, ain't going anywhere. So you just loosen it up here so we can attach it to the window that way. Um, very easily removed again. Uh, attach it to the roof if you wanted to do something like, you know, again, a shot in through, probably would need some type of a filter on it. And because it's it's got a, a swivel head on the top here, it's gonna allow you to put it wherever you want. Um, also, again, if you wanted to put it on the bonnet of the car, I just find it fantastic. This has never even budged for me, so. I do find it, that'll just tell I find it hard to get it off at the best of times. So again, you know, I can just attach it to the front of the car here. And this may be pretty much, you know, that ain't gonna be going anywhere. So yeah, like I say, it was about 12 euros on Amazon, as far as I remember. Uh, very cheap again, but because it's the three prong, three legs on it, um, I find it absolutely fantastic. So uh, definitely one to get as well. And finally, the last few uh, accessories that I think you should be getting is extra batteries. Um, I haven't gotten the Adreno battery yet, but I believe it's fantastic. Gives you a little bit of extra life in it as well. And at cold temperatures, which isn't really going to affect me too much. It gets cold here in Ireland, but you know, not down to Iceland and stuff like that. So get yourself some extra batteries, uh, preferably maybe the Adreno battery. Um, also, what I would do is get a battery charger. The one I have is a Semina, again, 15 euro or a Sama tree. Uh, it charges three batteries uh, at the same time. That was about 15 euros on Amazon as well. Uh, so you could put three batteries in and charge them up at the same time. So very, very handy. Uh, the last thing, well, actually one of the last things is your SD card. Get yourself a good SD card, it's worth it. You know, um, I use SanDisk ones. Uh, the highest quality that I can get. Um, I think it's the extreme 128 gig. You know, once it can shoot in 4K, you're pretty much going to be good to go. But get the best one you can invest in, in a decent SD card. Um, the last little thing that I want to talk about here is, I don't know if you can actually see it or not. Get my head out of the way. But see these little fluffy things on the top? And I've actually got one on, on the front here as well. So I just picked those up. They're like little wind protectors. Now, they're not, you know, they're not gonna block the wind completely, but for the price that they are, they're really, really cheap. You can pick these up on Amazon. And, uh, you know, I just stick one over each battery that's actually there. I didn't do the one underneath. Probably should do the one, the two underneath. Um, but when you put those on, it's, uh, it's blocking a lot of the wind. So it does better than having none of it on. So for the sake of a few euros, you know, it's five euros or whatever it is, 10 euros, uh, pick yourself up a bunch of them and uh, put it on. It comes in very, very handy. So folks, I hope you enjoyed that quick review and a quick list of my favorite and the top accessories I think you need to have for your GoPro Hero 10. Obviously, a lot of those will work on the nine and the eight and stuff like that as well. But definitely go out and get some extra accessories. Um, you know, get yourself a small little bag. You don't need to be carrying all these big bags around. That's why, you know, these uh, little action cameras are supposed to be very convenient to take around. So get yourself those accessories. Like I said, for me, the most important one is that little bum bag. Most people wouldn't even think about putting that on the list, but having your bum bag on you, walking around with a few of your accessories in there, the ability to take it off, put it on a tripod with your external power drive or your external power, 
into your uh, GoPro Hero 10. Absolutely perfect and you can't go wrong. So thanks for joining me, folks. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Uh, also hit that notification bell that's down there as well and it'll let you know when there's some new videos coming out from me. Uh, I think it's something like 95% of people that are watching my videos aren't subscribed. So come on, help me along and let's see if we can get those subscriptions up and hit the subscribe button. So from a lovely sunny evening here in County Kerry in Ireland, I hope you enjoy that and we'll see you all again very, very soon.